flip the lights, change the feed chart. Switching on the green LED in the dark. Another eight weeks, I'd like a new start. Another eight weeks, we flipping your feed chart. Another eight weeks. Hello, hello. Hey, YouTubers. I'm Joe with the Fox Farm Soil and Fertilizer Company. I'm Connor with Taproot Hydroponics. And this is another eight weeks. Welcome to the first week, seedlings and clones. So this is the first week. You're going to want to get established seedlings or rooted, fully rooted clones. You're going to want to have 18 hours of light, six hours of darkness. You're going to use three products to start with, Big Bloom, Boomerang, and Holy Mackerel. And I think we have those here today. Awesome. <laughs> You're also gonna want a gallon of dechlorinated water, and we have pre-dechlorinated it, so it's a very key step. And something to measure with, too. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna begin by adding your dechlorinated water to your container. All righty. <laughs> also, we need something to stir with. So. That's right. Always need something to stir with. So for this week, is there a certain order in which we're going to mix these in? Connor, I'd start with using the Big Bloom. You're going to use six teaspoons of Big Bloom or two tablespoons per gallon of water if you want to go ahead and mix it up. Cool. So six teaspoons or two tablespoons? Mm-hmm. For our metric friends at home, that's 30 milliliters. Awesome, Big Bloom is a catalyst for all phases of plant growth. It's gonna help with root development, which is really crucial in this phase right now. In addition to that, you're gonna to wanna to use Boomerang. Boomerang is a great humic and fulvic acid supplement in addition to being a recovery formula for plants that are enduring stress. So it's good for the seedlings and the clones, just to Absolutely. push the roots out? Mm -hmm. It's got a little bit of micronutrient content in it. It's also got beneficial fungus in it, four different species. Of those four different species, 85% uh, of plants can benefit from having those given to them. So I'd go ahead and add this to the solution. Okay, how much of this do I add? You're gonna use one teaspoon to a gallon. Okay. Alrighty, and the last thing you're gonna wanna use is holy mackerel. This is our fully pre-digested hydrolysate derived from fish. It's very, very easy for the plants to use the nitrogen that's available in this. Because they're seedlings, you don't want to use a whole lot, so I'd say half a teaspoon this week to start out with. Okay. Do seedlings benefit from a lot of nitrogen, or is it...? Not a whole lot, but you want to get them established and you want to get them started. You want to get that canopy nice and healthy, okay. so it's good to give them a little bit. As plants mature, you can use a little bit more of it if you want to. Okay. And you said a quarter teaspoon? Uh, half a teaspoon. How many milliliters is that, Jeff? Half a teaspoon is going to be two and a half milliliters. So generally you're going to want about 420 to 560 parts per million for your plants. You're going to want to give this solution to them twice a week. So feed once, water, feed once again, water one more time. You're going to want to make sure that your pH is between 6.3 and 6.8. So really 6.5 is the ideal range. So 6.5, and that's something I would measure now after we've added the nutrients. Absolutely, before you give it to the plants. Okay. All right, see you in another week. <laughs> Dude, that was dope.